Hi guys, welcome to our section how to graph a parabola. In this video we're going to have a quick review of all the sections of the parabola. Now, don't forget to watch our other videos that show each section of the parabola step by step because today we're going to do the whole thing. Alright, let's start. How do we graph this parabola? Well, we're going to go ahead and do every single section. The first step is to find the vertex. Remember, the vertex is either the lowest or the highest point of the parabola. That's where she starts. Now, in order to find the vertex, I need to use this formula. So, I remember that A is equals to 1, the first um, guy here, and B is equals to negative 4. I'm going to go ahead and plug this here, and I get... Remember, you have a negative here, and this is negative 4, so this is negative times negative divided by 2 times 1, that's going to give me 4 divided by 2, and the x-coordinate of the vertex is equal to 2. You can always do this by yourself, just put stop and then continue with me. Alright, now we're going to find y. Remember, in order to find the y-coordinate of the vertex, we're going to go ahead and plug the value we just found into the equation. So I have 2 times 2, and then negative 4 times 2 minus 12, and let's see what we get. I get 4, negative 4 times 2, negative 12. Finally, I have 4 minus 8 minus 12 is equals to negative 16. Awesome. I already got my vertex. Look how much information I can get from the vertex. Remember, the vertex is going to be either the highest or the lowest point. Well, remember, when the number next to the x squared is positive, that means that she's happy. So she's going to look like this. Remember how I told you to remember, like she was smiling? Therefore, she's going to have a minimum where the y-coordinate uh, of the vertex is. Also, the x-coordinate of the vertex gives me the x of symmetry. That is the line that cuts the parabola in half. So, so far, I have the vertex, the x of symmetry, and I know that I have a minimum at y equals negative 16. Let's continue. Let's find the intercept. What are the intercepts? The, the intercepts are going to be the key points where the line is going to cut the axis. So, look how easy. In order to find the x-intercepts, we're going to make y equals 0. Don't forget, f of x is the same thing as y. So, this is the same as x squared minus 4x minus 12, which is equal to 0. Since I have a quadratic here, in order to uh, solve for this guy, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and factor. I need two numbers. When I multiply them, give me 12. When I add or subtract, it gives me negative 4. Remember, in order to factor this trinomial, we just need to find the factors of 12. Bingo. I know that 6 times 2 is 12. And the signs are going to be negative 6 plus 2 is negative 4. Negative 6 times 2 is negative 12. We're almost done. Now that you have um, your x-intercepts, don't forget, you need to go ahead and solve. You put x minus 6. A lot of people get confused with this. x minus 6 equals 0, and then you have to do x plus 2 equals 0. When you solve for x, that's why the signs changes. So my answer is going to be 6, 0, negative 2, 0. These are my x-intercepts. That means where my parabola is going to cut the x-intercept. But don't worry about it. We're going to go step by step. So far, I have the vertex, x of symmetry. I know that I have a minimum of y equals negative 16. I have my x-intercept. Remember, we just found it right now. How do I find y-intercept? This is actually the easiest part. Remember, in order to find y-intercept, I need to make x equals 0. Well, when I do 0, 0 times 0 is just 0. This guy is also 0. The only number that I have left over is negative 12. Therefore, my y-intercept is going to be 0, negative 12. All right. The time of the true. Let's do it. So remember, we had the vertex. And let's do it. I'm not an artist, so I'm going to try my best. But, um, you know, you go all the way down to negative 16. And this is, remember, the lowest point of the parabola. So... Uh, right there. Now we have um, the y-intercept. That's going to be like around here. This is negative 12. Don't worry about it because then we're going to have a really nice graph made in the computer. 
and we have the x-intercepts. Remember, I here negative two. Then here I have six. Awesome. So I go all the way. Thank God I'm not a doctor. And you can see I'm not the best <laughs> sketcher here. All right. So this is basically how you graph it. Obviously, this is uh, a nicer graph here. So let's see. This is actually our vertex to negative 16. This is actually our y-intercept. Here I have my x-intercepts, and these are like the key points of the parabola. Da, 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 It looks amazing. All right, let's talk about the domain and the range. Remember, the domain, and this is the easiest part, is all the real numbers, because x can be whatever she wants. She goes all the way up to here, up to here, from negative infinity to infinity. But remember, the range is actually, remember, this is the lowest point, so it goes from negative 16, including it, to the infinity. Infinity up here and negative infinity up here. Awesome. You did an amazing job. Thank you so much. Don't forget to watch our other videos and also...